All right, so let's talk about the the baseless propaganda which the United States and Western countries are pushing are pushing about uh, about uh, forced labor in Xinjiang, the uh, the nonsense uh, about Tibet, the uh, complete and utter nonsense about Hong Kong. Uh, let's and and uh, Taiwan and and so on and so forth and so on and so forth and supposedly uh, you know you even have a uh, a cult called the Falun Gong who's promoting in the uh, in the U.S. and and West uh, actually getting funding from the U.S. government. Uh, so they can t say, oh, organ harvesting, and uh, the Chinese government is organ harvesting people. Uh, and all this, all this other stuff, you know, the Xinjiang, it's forced labor, it's genocide, it's cultural genocide, and all this other stuff. And um, so let me talk about a, a personal, a personal uh, thing that actually happened to me uh, of real, of actual happening to me, of actual forced slave labor uh, that my brother, uh, me and my brother went through before we were adopted uh, in, from South Korea. And uh, so here's, here's what happened. So my birth mother, uh, who had tried to drown me uh, because I was like, I think four and a half or, f or five years old and I was put in charge of uh, another toddler who was younger than me and I panicked uh, and I convinced this uh, little, uh, little toddler boy who was uh, uh, it was like probably like three uh, or about no probably about two uh, two years younger than I am uh, at a busy intersection uh, and I panicked that day and and because uh, uh, the traffic seemed to be so much heavier uh, than uh, than uh, than I uh, than I felt uh, than usual. And the little boy across uh, across the street, uh, across the busy four-way intersection, he got run over by like I think like uh, three or four cars. The last car stopping to pick him up and drive away. Um, and my uh, and my mother, uh, my mother ended up. Uh, getting uh, incredibly angry. She tried to drown me for this, and afterwards, uh, unfortunately, my neighbor, our neighbor, uh, made sure that she was not successful. She ended up uh, committing suicide afterwards, and we were picked up by the state and put into an orphanage in South Korea. An orphanage run by uh, a college priest, and habit-wearing uh, nuns from the Catholic Church. Now, this orphanage had a uh, had a back room, uh, out of the way back room, with uh, which was windowless, uh, unventilated, and had a big, uh, big wooden, thick wooden door, where uh, they had these massive piles of fresh uh, plastic. Uh, which was supposed uh, fresh plastic holly uh, ornaments that we were supposed to put together. Of course, the smell from the, uh, this plastic would make us sick. We we would start to vomit. We would get cramps and all that other stuff. And when we complained or we refused to work, the nuns would come in, drag us out, beat us into. The nuns would come in, drag us out, beat us into submission until we pleaded to go back to work. Now, 
uh, I guarantee this. Uh, I guarantee the government of South Korea at the time knew about knew what was probably happening, as well as uh, as well as I'm sure the uh, U.S. Because you have to uh, you have to uh, import that all that plastic, and it's a it's a, it's a fucking orphanage, not a fucking factory. So. Uh, that is forced labor. That is coercive labor. And we were toddlers, toddler age kids. So uh, this whole fucking Adrian Zenz and uh, and Aspie and all that other stuff. Oh, by the way, Adrian Zenz is a fucking Catholic fascist piece of shit, right? Completely groundless uh, bullshit that he puts out. Uh, there's no evidence for it at all. You know, you got Sketcher saying there's, there's no evidence. Uh, I think Walmart even said there's no evidence. Uh, and all this. Not to say that I, I, I don't like Walmart. I, I, I despise Walmart. But you got Western corporations that's saying there's, there's no evidence of forced labor. You got Western, me, uh, Western uh, independent media and, uh, and even... Uh, uh, even uh, older uh, establishment media talking about uh, the fa- uh, the uh, the fake uh, uh, genocide claims and all that other stuff. So you got all this, but yet, uh, yet our so-called governments, even though they know there's absolute, it's completely and utterly uh, groundless, will put the shit out. And uh, and we're supposed to t- uh, we're supposed to take that as fact, as reality. You know, wh- uh, when have you heard about this? Uh, when have you heard about uh, uh, toddler age kids uh, in South Korea being used as slave labor? Hmm? Beaten until they uh, they go back to work. When have you heard about uh, and 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 that's probably not the only orphanage that was do, uh, that was run by the Catholics, uh, who probably did the same shit. And then we also know about the whole fucking pedophile crime spree. And then never mind if if you look into the history of the Catholic Church and Christianity as, Christianity as a whole, you'll see, you'll see, the barbarity. And, and the complete and other hypocrisy and lies. So, and but this is not just this is not just Christianity, even the Catholic Church. This uh, you have the uh, you have the Hindus and the violent uh, violent attacks that they're uh, they're doing on uh, on the Muslim population in in India. The Hindu nationalism. Uh, the Rohingyas uh, in Myanmar, um, but the but the uh, Islam and Muslims ha- also have have their uh, have their uh, atrocities. Uh, the Buddhists have their atrocities. Every single one of the uh, of the established. Religions, all have it. All have it. All denominations of Christianity have this. Uh, have this. Uh, have these atrocities. And if you're paying attention, you know that the history of the United States and and the, and the West is nothing but atrocities. Oh, Amen. It, it's always. And it's always the key uh, players who, who, are, who are in politics, who are in business, who are in finance, banking, uh, weapons manufacturing, uh, retail. Uh, all these people who, 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 uh, who got their, uh, their wealth and power and control to, uh, by, uh, by being the most vile uh, creatures uh, 
it's 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 beyond farce. So, if you watch this and, and and you're hearing all this all this bullshit, and it's always towards the global south. It's always towards uh, people who are not white. Always. And the thing is, is even if you are white, here's the problem. Though these fucking high criminals don't give a shit about your uh, if you're white. They don't care if you come from Germany. They don't care if you come from fucking Spain. They don't care if you come from the UK, New Zealand, Australia. It doesn't fucking matter. In their in their mind's eye, class means that they view themselves to be better than every everything and everybody else. You're not, they view themselves to be the, the premier race class because they control. And the policies that, uh, that, that the uh, white Western community and in those who, who are descendants of whites and, and in the global South, they don't give, they don't give a shit about you. They'll, they will, uh, they will uh, give you these impressions of giving you, uh, uh, of giving you uh, preference. But the thing is, is they always apply, apply the very things that you agree with that you think gives you, uh, gives you uh, preference. They always use it against you, always. And, and, and the middle class and, and even the upper middle class is finding out finding this out in the U.S. and all over the Western world. And even in the global south where uh, you're descended from, uh, uh, from uh, Europeans. <clears throat> it, is, it is beyond the pale. And it is utter ignorance, utter self-serving ignorance to ignore all that. Complacency is an abdication. It's an abdication to your security and stability. It is a tax. It is an extortion. It is a theft. You may not be may not have been beaten like I was, but you're still being taken. You're still being used. And I'm not I'm just one of millions upon millions upon millions who's had the, who's had uh, stuff like this happen. It continue to happen. Why? Because these fucking criminally insane, uh, demonic fuckers, they value only themselves. And even among themselves, they fight. They stab each other in the back. Whether, the, whether it's a... It's a man or a woman. It's still a dick measuring contest. Who can be the most ruthless? Who can be the most uh, atrocious? Who can be the most vile? And they are contributing to, to, to our collective demise. Thinking in these illusions and, and fantasies that somehow all that Money and power and ownership of, uh, of resources and lands will somehow translate to them not uh, them being able to escape from it, escape from it when uh, when everything collapses around, which is complete not a fantasy. It's a delusion.
we we need to grow up. We need to understand. We need to uh, we need to understand our, our collective uh, solidarity, our collective self uh, awareness, our collective um, self preservation lies in coming together as a collective, understanding understanding the dynamics, and being able to say you are the enemy. You are the evil. You are the ones making our lives worse and worse and worse. You are intending to kill us. Because that's what it all boils down to. You cannot sit on the sidelines. You cannot be complacent. You cannot say, oh, I can only do what I can do. You cannot uh, uh, say, oh, they won't let us do it. This is a small, uh, small number of people here, and whether you call your, whether you call yourself a conservative, a liberal, a centrist, or left, or right, or center, it, it, it doesn't matter. Whether you call yourself a socialist, you know, you may, uh, you may, uh, you may even I think you have a right leaning fascist, uh, 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 fascist ideology. But the thing is, is unless you actually, actually hold the, the power levers, levers, of, of means of production, ownership of of, of lands and resources, and how uh, how information is disseminated, or how information can be perverted. To uphold uh, uphold your uh, your grasp onto uh, onto everything else, so that you can have control, you you people, you'll never you're just you're just expendable pawns. You're just uh, these little cogs that uh, that only that only uh, is important so long as you can keep them in power, so long as you can be the one to go out there and co- cause the violence and support the violence, while at the same time you're subjugating yourself. You, there are no alphas among you. Absolutely no alphas among you. There are no alphas among us. We are all under their thumb until we realize we are the thumb. Until we realize collectively we run things. We own things. We progress things. We we is simple. Collectively, we hold the power. Collectively, because it's certainly not them who's going out to uh, to fight uh, fight uh, wars, to uh, to uh, pad their uh, their money, their influence, their power, their control. It's certainly not us. Who's getting, uh, who's getting all that? If anything, by doing so, we are handing over our self-determination. We are handing over our liberties, our freedoms, our uh, equalities, our justice. We have nothing in common with these criminals. Because they are more than just common criminals. There are more, there are more mur- murderers who have uh, more ethics and and and, and morals than uh, than these uh, psychopaths and sociopaths who rule us. Understand, it is. We against a minority, a few minority who grasp at holding power. 
who fear the collective will. Those who want to promote wars and destruction and deterioration. Those who want to be able to subjugate us all and to have us all be sheeples. They want us to all say, yes, master. And skin color doesn't matter. Where you were born doesn't matter. What your eyes look like. It doesn't matter. They don't care if you're a man or a woman. They don't care if you're a child. I don't care if you're a baby. They care for nothing but themselves and the hold that they can have. They want hold. They want to be able to hold us all under them, control us, to, to destroy our self-reliance, to destroy our self-determination, to destroy our self-preservation. Everything under the sun and in the universe is theirs. And we mean nothing to them. We must come together. We must assert ourselves. We must put, make them fear us and make them run for the deepest, darkest hole never to pop up again. We have a commonality. We have a common enemy. We have a common cause. And we must come to realize this. Because they have no, they have no uh, plateau. They will do whatever and uh, they need to. There is no crime. There is, uh, there is no atrocity. There is no heinous act which they will not, which they will not use. This is why we need to view outside of the of this false dichotomy in culture and see the commonality with each other and bring about a true community who looks out for each other, who understands that that is the pathway. Because the only way we will get security and stability to have true freedom liberty and justice is to come together. <laughs>